democratizing home design, that project really, really spoke to me. We have a housing crisis and it's amazing to marry architecture and design with new ways of construction to bring new kinds of value to homeowners. A really interesting example of how to create turnkey housing that can be delivered in a really cost-effective way. It's not sustainable if it's not cost-effective. There's an innovative idea emerging out of Florida that's gaining traction and just might change the way we think about designing and constructing our homes. Now, Pablo, you're one of these people we love featuring on the show on By Design. You're democratizing design. I mean, why can't everybody have good design in their lives? And at the same time, you're helping to save the planet, mate. Yeah, Mike, on top of uh, our homes being green certified, we feature high ceilings, impact windows, Italian kitchens, solid wood doors. Yeah, the kind of uh, features that you would expect in a million dollar plus home. Well, speaking of million dollar plus homes, what are those mansions worth over there, Pablo? Those homes over there are worth between 16 to 30 million dollars. Get Actually, out. Giselle Blanchin. Yeah, uh, Tom Brady's ex? Yeah, he just recently moved over there and she paid $20 million for a mansion. Okay, but what you actually like talking about is the per square foot price. Yes, those homes are between six to $7,000 per square feet. Okay, and then right across the water, talk about a land of contrast here in Florida, uh, 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 what I would a little bit rudely called shoe boxes. <laughs> that is correct, Mike. And this is the way that America has been built for the last 60 years. Small ceiling, small windows, and very limited access to interior design. And what would the price per square feet be to build something like that? In that area, Mike, about $500 per square feet. Okay. Now, I know that the houses you build are uh, enormously different to that. They're freestanding, they're, they're huge and amazing. So what's the per square foot price on your projects? $250 per square feet. My goodness, half what it is for, for one of those shoe boxes. That is correct. I can see already what you're doing, Pablo. Carolina, how did you get involved with Pablo? We were working with him in his Sarasota project, and then when he told us about the vision for his development in Port Charlotte, it really sounded like something we could get behind. And, and I find it's hard to believe that these amazing kitchens end up in a $400,000 build. We believe that everybody deserves well-designed kitchens, so we found ways of making it possible for every budget. Our material is also 100% recycled and it's LEED certified. So it goes into that whole sustainability concept that Pablo has with his project. Because Carolina, uh, I think everybody deserves a, a well-designed kitchen, don't you? Everybody deserves to come home and make great memories with their family in their kitchen. So let me get this right, Bianca. People get to choose on this tight budget all the different finishes. Yes, for example, we have this one, the backsplash for the, the bathroom is green. If green is not your favorite color, yeah. we can find another color for you. And this is for the floor, isn't and it? And this is your main floor. That one you see is the marble, and this is for your exterior. So everything yes. here composing the pre-selections, but we always can custom made and bring design to your home. So Bianca, this is really custom build behavior, but on a $400,000 budget. How did Pablo swing this with you guys? Oh, we love Pablo, <laughs> work with him, so nice. We love the idea, and Florian Decor is about caring about people, the customers, and bring design for all. So affordable homes, who gonna love it? <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so this is Isabella, and that's Carlotta. Uh, more about those names later. Um, but these were the first of your homes that you built. Yes, Mike, uh, these are the first two models that we created and they basically represent our vision. That was to create a home that combined our main three elements, design, sustainability, and affordability. Well, I see there's a, a car in the driveway. Are we able to go in? Yeah, let's go for a quick tour. Well, the first thing that hits me uh, is the height of the ceilings. In our design, we cut the old trusses and now we have a panelized system that is letting us in a starter home to have 14 foot ceilings. Okay, 14 foot, because I, I associate high ceilings with high design. By reducing the cost of the structure, 
we're giving more budget to the finishes. And the windows, they're, they're particularly big for Florida. Uh, are they impact windows? They are impact windows. So regularly in a Florida house, you have between nine to 12 windows. Here we have 17 impact windows throughout the house. Um, Aaron, Dusty, you were looking for a house like this, weren't you, a home like this? Yeah, you know, we had always had a plan to maybe build a home like this someday. We're on Pinterest, we're cutting pictures out of magazines, making plans. We found this, Pablo had already done it for us. He made it really, really easy. We've always been passionate about health and wellness, but since having children, we knew that there was so much beyond just healthy food and fitness. Yeah. We actually wanted to live in a healthy home. And high design was, was important? Yeah, totally. We're content creators. We're shooting photos for cookbooks and content for YouTube. And so it's like, everything needs to look good. <laughs> and again, Pablo made it beautiful. And it was really easy for us. Mike, let me invite you to the favorite spot of the house. This is the location where we understand the design of the house. The house is two wings. The first wing is the family area where the kitchen, living room, and foyer is. And the second wing is the private area, where we have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Uh, I see what you mean, it's a nice angle. Now, Isabella, what's the, uh, the square footage? The total square footage of the house is 3,200 square feet. And Carlota? Carlota is uh, 2,900 square feet. Okay, and, and of course, they're your daughter's names, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> they begged me uh, for this project to use their names in our homes. And Pablo, one more question. For the 3,200 square feet, what's the cost? Mike, everything included because all our homes are turnkey and the price for this house is $399,000. Wow, under $400,000. Correct. And Carlota is $366,000. Remarkable. Isabella and Carlota are two superb examples of the winning architectural trifecta high-end finishes, energy efficiency, and affordability. Now, isn't that what all good architecture should be about? If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more every week.